Golf is a sport that I've been playing for nearly 30 years. Growing up, I always thought that golf was invented in Scotland. But after moving to China, there's an interesting game that the Chinese had that might put their name in the hat as being the birthplace of golf. My name is Bill Kern. As an avid golfer, it was quite shocking to me to find that ancient China had a popular game called Choi Wan. And this game occurred about 400 years before what is known as golf in Scotland. There's a lot of similarities between Chuan and golf, but are there enough similarities to change the birthplace of golf from Scotland to China? We're gonna take a quick look at the history of Chuan, as well as some of the equipment and rules that they used. Choi Wong was a very popular sport during the Song Yong and Ming dynasties and was often depicted in the art, as seen in this scroll where men are gathered in a field appearing to play a game. In this painting from the Ming dynasty, we see Emperor Shuang Di playing Chu Wong. We know this based on the flags in the ground as well as the club in his hand. Although we can learn a lot about Choi Wong from ancient Chinese art, it is actually ancient writings that give us the most information. Some scholars believe that a version of Choi Wan may have been mentioned in an 11th century book called Dong Shuang Lu, when the book talked about an official teaching his daughter to dig holes for him to hit balls into with a special stick. The most thorough mention of Choi Wan is from a 13th century manuscript called Wan Jing. Wan Jing is a document that most scholars are referencing in support of China's claim as the home of golf. It is in this document that we learned about the course layout, equipment, and rules of Chu Wan. The setup for Choi Wan was actually pretty simple. All you had to do was find a large flat area, such as a park or the courthouse of a royal palace and you set up your course. Most scholars believe that the courses set up during Chuan often didn't exceed more than about 150 meters. The courses would constantly change because all they had to do to set them up was dig a hole, put a flag in the hole, and then they could move their tee boxes around called G's. The G was a 33 centimeter square. The equipment for Choi Wan was actually quite simple. They used wooden clubs to strike a wooden ball. Some of the clubs had unusual designs, but according to Wan Jin, there were three types of clubs. One for making long shots, one for accuracy, and one for taking your close shots. The clubs appear to be very similar to modern golf clubs. For example, the long shot club would have a long shaft and a heavy head. The big difference came on the close shot club, and that's because this club was very short. The close shots were done in a crouching or kneeling position, so the shaft had to be a lot shorter. There were some superstitions when it came to making the clubs. For example, they believed that you should cut down the bamboo tree in the late fall or early winter because this is when the bamboo is the strongest. They also believed that they shouldn't attach the head of the club to the shaft unless they did it in late spring or early summer. And the reason for this was because that was when the glue was the easiest to work with and it ensured a tight seal and made sure that the club would last a lot longer. As far as the balls go that they used, there was no set size or weight, but they wanted to make sure that they had a ball that was not too heavy because a heavy ball would not travel as far, but they didn't want to make the ball too light because then things like the wind could influence how it moved. The object of Choi Wan was to be the first person into the hole. It doesn't matter how many strokes it took you as long as you were the first person to put your ball in the hole. 
The winner of the hole would earn three points. Second place, two points. Last place, one point. If you were playing in larger groups, then the points would vary as well. The goal of the game was to be the first person to 20 points in most cases. Choi Wan was built on the essences of Confucianism and stressed etiquette, courtesy, integrity, honesty, and wisdom. It's through these beliefs that if cheaters were caught, then they would often be kicked out of the game or they would be banned from playing Choi Wan altogether and their reputation from city to city would be diminished. So, the Chinese are making a good argument that they may be the actual home for golf, but that's not stopping modern golf fans. The biggest argument that modern golf fans are making that Choi Wan is not the same as golf has to do with the course setup. Golfers call Choi Wan a nice round of chip and putt because the course is so small and they like to compare it to games like croquet rather than golf. The biggest thing is in golf, the tee boxes and the greens don't change. Now the locations of where the pin might be on the green or where the tee box is set up will change, but the actual locations for where the hole starts and where the hole ends are not changeable in modern golf. Whereas in Choi Wan, every time you go out to play a game, you can set up a new course. That's why they're making the argument that Choi Wan is actually closer to croquet than it is to golf. <laughs>